It's time for one last Tacoma Mod Stocking Stuffer video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic week. So the holidays are right around the corner. So it's time for one last Tacoma Mod Stocking Stuffer video, meaning I'm gonna go over five things today that are great for your truck, all of which will fit in a traditional stocking and each of which is $25 or less. So if you have any holiday money left over, probably not, but if you do, you could grab some of these things for yourself or you could share them with people who are shopping around for you. So let's get started. And as always, links for all of the things I'm gonna be talking about down in the description below. And if you are really looking for a lot of things to buy to fill your stocking this year, don't forget to check out the two videos I did for Tacoma related accessories and Tacoma related tools, which are linked right here. And if it's okay with you guys, we're gonna start on the outside of the truck and work our way in. Starting with the stubby antenna. Stubby. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as many of you know, I was running the smaller stubby antenna. I want to say it stuck up about here at four and a half inches. And that one was fine for me for all of the radio channels, like for reception and quality. I don't live in like a super mountainous area, but I only had reception issues and they were pretty minor on one channel. However, it just happened to be the only channel I listened to. I got perfect reception on the pop channel, which I can't stand, but of course the one channel I wanted, the reception was sort of spotty sometimes. So I went ahead and upgraded from that to, this is still a stubby, but much larger at 13 inches, but still a lot shorter than the factory antenna, which you know hangs up even with the roof line, which I think I bent the first or second time I went off-roading. So you can see this one's really flexible. The reception for me is great. And if you check out the link I'll put down below, there are different sizes you can get for this. So if you don't like the 13, you can go, I think they have them in like inch or two inch increments. So if this is something you're interested in, check that out, pick the one that's right for you. And the stubby antenna is just $17. Who doesn't get excited for a stubby? And the next item on the list right here under the hood near the stubby antenna is the actual Unifilter mod. Of course, I did a whole video on this, so please go ahead and check that out on why you might need it. This can be a super expensive repair if you don't change this filter out depending on the quality of your factory filter that is inside this little like snail shell cover. However, the Unifilter, it's only 15 bucks. It's a great peace of mind mod, and it gives your truck a wicked whistle too once you install it. The price varies on this depending on how many people are buying them. It's usually 12 to 15 bucks though. So check out the Unifilter mod for just 15 bucks. And everything else is on the inside of the truck. Uh-oh. Next on the list is the Chinese AC Knobs mod, which is probably one of the most popular mods I've ever seen on Tacoma World. Again, I did a video on these linked above, going over them in detail. I've since upgraded to these AJT knobs, which are considerably more expensive, so they don't qualify for the stocking list, but here are the AC knobs I'm talking about. You can see the factory knob up here and the AC knob down below. When you get them, you can get sets of three for these three controls. You could go ahead and buy two sets since they're so cheap and go ahead and replace your 4x4 knob also if you're driving a 4x4. Definitely a huge improvement over the look over the stock ones and these do light up at night. You can see the ring right there. The light from behind the dash sort of glows through and that's definitely a cool feature. The price on these does fluctuate again just like the Unifilter mod depending on how many people are buying them but it's usually just about 10 bucks for the set of the three. And coming in at the fourth spot we do have a complete interior LED swap kit which does include the two LEDs for your map lights. I have since changed mine to the Miso JDM map lights, which are wickedly red. You can see right there. The kits do include also the dome light, which again, I've switched mine to uh, Miso JDM. And you also get the vanity lights right there. And the kit I linked to also includes the license plate lights. Definitely a fun, good starter mod. Cheap, fun, easy to install. Give you a quick, nice, fresh upgrade for the inside of your Tacoma over those ugly, regular incandescent bulbs. And the last mod right here is this little flashlight you can see plugs directly into your cigarette lighter. You've got two of them, or I do on my second gen, so this is a great mod. You can always have this plugged in. Every time your truck turns on, it will charge. So in the case of an emergency, you know you always have a fully charged flashlight. Now I am gonna do a separate video just on this alone, going over the features, showing you the light output and all that. I did wanna go ahead and get this in on today's video because this is a great stocking stuffer mod. 
Price is usually about 15 to 17 bucks, but currently on Amazon, if you check the link below, it says they are sold out, but they are getting some back in on December 19th, so that might be in time for the holidays. So just be aware of that. If you are interested in it, go ahead and grab it, put it in your cart, and I'm sure you'll get an email notification letting you know when it is ready. But I love this thing. I have, I've ha already had a ton of people ask me about it because they've seen it sitting down there in other videos, and this, this thing is super great. But like I said, separate video coming for this soon, but just wanted to get it in. Perfect stocking stuffer gift idea. All right, everyone, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. If you would like to support the channel even more, and if you are looking for other gift ideas that are Tacoma-ish related, definitely Tacoma-holic related, check out the shop on my website, link right down below. Grab yourself a sticker, a patch, a tag, lanyard, all that fun stuff. Or you can check out the Teespring store where I do have shirts, sweatshirts, all that kind of stuff. And if you're really feeling generous, tis the season after all, go ahead and check out the Tacoma-holic Patreon page if you want to support me directly that way. If this is your first time stopping by and you love everything related to Tacomas, please consider subscribing. Comment below on if you found one of these things that you might pick up for yourself this holiday season. And please help me grow the channel by sharing the video with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.